Hello minions, Wheezy here again, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the Psykov pistols in Warzone and Modern Warfare as fast as possible. Let's go do it. All right, so the first challenge to unlock the Psykov is to get four kills using pistols in five different matches. I'm going to be covering this in Modern Warfare, but this applies to Warzone as well, just because Modern Warfare is a faster way to do this. Um, just to note before we get into it, I'm going to be covering not just how to unlock the Psykov quickly, but also how to rank it up as fast as possible so that you can get the now balanced uh, Akimbo automatic pistols. Um, they have been rebalanced in Warzone, so they're no longer the beasts that they were for that short time. Um, but, uh, anyway, let's get into the unlock here. So as you can see in each match here, you can go in, use a pistol to get four kills, and unlike Cold War, in Modern Warfare, once you've gone into the creative class and you've confirmed that you've completed the challenge for that match, you can back out and go to the next one. So that's why this is, uh, can be done so much faster. Uh, and actually, while people are still unlocking these pistols, you're going to see this quite a bit, especially in like shipment. So um, the first couple of clips I'm showing here, I started out in the uh, normal versions of shipment and kill house, uh, or shoot house, I guess it's called. And um, I use the Diamatis just because when you're using a, a core game mode, you want to use a pistol that's got higher damage, the Diamatis are that. But what I found out later on, and what I would actually suggest up front that I didn't realize, uh, is that I would go into hardcore uh, sh uh, shipment and kill house, uh, sorry, shoot house. <laughs> I would go into the hardcore playlist for this, and then you can use any single fire pistol, uh, and it's actually quite fun. So. Um, these first couple of clips you sh are, are just what it took for me to get the Psykov. I cut together just the kills that I needed in those matches. So unlocking it is super quick, super easy. Just jump into any uh, four matches and get, or, or any five matches, get four kills with a pistol, jump out, jump at, back into another one, bingo bongo. Like I said, if you do this in hardcore, it'll go even faster. And I, found, I, was, I was worried that like in Cold War, hardcore would be really irritating um, with a pistol because people would just be spamming machine guns. But what I found was that a pistol is surprisingly effective in hardcore in Modern Warfare. In modern warfare. And in fact, it was actually a whole lot of fun. So here, this was after I had unlocked the Psykov. I went into, I think this is just the normal team deathmatch mode. Um, so it's shortly after this I try the hardcore mode. And you'll see the difference between the default Psykov here. I get a couple of hits. Um, how long it takes to kill with this pistol. Uh, in a normal core game mode versus when I'll switch over to a hardcore game mode and you'll see the difference there But obviously very doable with a regular pistol. I you know in Call of Duty games for years I've, I've, I've gotten pretty good with pistols by using snipers and having to pistol switch for things all the time um, But in a core game mode when people are using assault rifles and shotguns you will be uh, outclassed with a pistol versus in the hardcore modes when you can actually compete quite well versus uh, core weapons with uh, with a pistol because it's almost you know at, at close to medium range it is a one hit kill and at slightly longer ranges you can fire and stay on target fast enough to get to get pretty decent kills but um, yeah the the key to remember through all of this if you're trying to unlock everything is <clears throat> and I'll show the challenge here in a little while but basically to get the akimbo attachments, you have to unlock the Mo Money perk for the Psykov first, which is at about level 32, I think. And then um, after you get the ability to use the Mo Money perk, then um, I think this is the part where, oh no. So now I'm gonna switch into hardcore, I think. Once you get the Mo Money perk, um, <laughs> no, this is still core. Once you get the Mo Money perk, you have to then get uh, three kills with that perk in five different matches. And that will unlock a Kimbo. And then to get the full auto slide for the Psykov, you then have to finish ranking the Psykov up to max level, which is level 40 for the pistol. So <clears throat> the fastest way that I found to do that, I did this entire thing from unlock to completely maxed out um, in about a couple of hours. And... I only used, I think, two 15-minute uh, double XP weapon tokens uh, for that. So you don't even, I mean, if you have like an hour-long uh, double XP weapon token or something like that you can burn, you can do this even faster. Uh, I didn't necessarily want to burn those up for a pistol because what I've been planning or what I'm thinking is I don't necessarily think Call of Duty 2021 is going to be 
my cup of tea. Um, but presumably, 2022 is going to be the the sequel to Modern Warfare, which has been which this game is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. And since Call of Duty and Activision have switched over to this persistent uh, system of keeping your account linked across, I'm thinking I might just save up these double XP tokens and hope that they carry over into the new Modern Warfare game so I can just like hyper level there. Um, here you'll see I'm switching over to hardcore. Uh, if you go into the playlist filter, you can actually go into the hardcore mode and filter so it only goes to shoot house and uh, shipment for hardcore and those are just gonna get you much faster. So here you can see immediately um, the difference in time to kill with this pistol. And I just, I just ended up having an absolute blast doing this. I mean, I will never basically use these pistols again because I don't, they've already been balanced in Warzone, like I said, and uh, I'm thinking about getting into Warzone more for season, uh, for Cold War Season 3. Um, but again, I don't anticipate using these pistols, but I wanted to bring you guys the fastest way to do it, and, um, and it ended up just being quite, quite a lot of fun to do this. So what I would suggest, after um, you've ranked the pistol up to about rank 32 when you unlock Mo Money, you can, at that point, to get the Akimbo perk, um, you can do what you do with the other challenges where you can get the couple of kills that you need in a match, leave the match, and do that again and again until you uh, get the akimbo perk. So actually, I think I'm about to cut to that here. So um, here I'm at level 32 on the Psykov, and you'll see that I'll switch over here. And when you go in here under the gunsmith, the Mo Money perk, you go down to Akimbo, you can see that, well, it's, you can't see it very well at the bottom there, but you have to get three kills using the Mo Money perk in five different matches. Now it says with the Renetti, that is a UI bug. It does mean with the Psykov, so don't try and do it with the Renetti. You have to put the Psykov on, get three kills in five different matches. So you can do this where you get three kills, leave the match, get three kills, leave the match. But if you're trying to get the pistol all the way un unlocked to the full auto slides, then I would suggest just staying in the matches because you're gonna have to rank up anyway. Um, but again, depending on how fast you're ranking up, if you're using double XP tokens, you actually might be close to max rank before you get to this point. Um, so just keep that in mind. You have to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth staying in these matches. But um, but yeah, you need to get those three kills in five matches to get the Akimbo perk. You need to max it out at level 40 to get the full auto slide, and then you've got the Psychovs. Now, I will also show some clips where uh, I used it in core, uh, in core, I keep wanting to say Kill House, because that's the new one that came out, um, core shoot house and shipment, just to show you kind of how they work. And the balance patch that they did affected the, greatly made the hip fire worse on the full auto slide attachments. So they are not the, the murder sauce laser beams of death that they were for the couple of days they were, but um, if you're like me and a completionist and just wanna unlock the weapon and maybe rank it up, this is how to do that. And I, I was talking about uh, how I've gone through Modern Warfare and I've ranked up every weapon and it occurred to me that the only weapons I really haven't maxed out across the board in Modern Warfare are pistols. So I may be going back into hardcore, uh, hardcore and maxing out all the pistols just because I had an absolute blast doing this and um, taking the Desert Eagle and stuff into into hardcore and, and, and one-shotting people. I think that might, that might be a good entertaining thing for me to do here. So um, as you can see here, I'm showing you just kind of like the method of going down to Akimbo. You can see the progress for the mission, for the uh, challenge as you go. So if you want to keep track and leave, um, I'm, I'm, I'm demonstrating how to do this <laughs> as well as the weapon swap animation for the Psykov where you decock the pistol. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's really kind of the core of what you need to know, you know, to unlock it, just get those four kills in five different matches, get those four kills and leave. Um, in that fifth one, you will unlock the Psykov mid match and you can put it on a class and start using it immediately. So I would go ahead and suggest that get in a hardcore mode. Once you get that fifth match and you unlock the Psykov, immediately equip it, start getting kills with it, start ranking it up. Use double XP, double weapon XP tokens if you've got them to burn to max out how fast uh, the weapons will rank up. And then make sure when you get to level 32 that you throw on the Mo Money perk for the few matches that you need in order to get that unlock done. So um, for those of you who are stuck around this long and... <laughs> Chances are, if you don't have Modern Warfare and you just have Warzone, you probably haven't stuck around this long. But, in case you did, 
if you want to do this in uh, Warzone, it'll be a little bit more difficult. And I wouldn't suggest, obviously, trying to get pistol kills in in Warzone proper. But if you do Plunder, uh, or maybe even the um, the smaller map, I don't even remember what it's called. Like I said, I haven't really played much Warzone at all since like uh, since like the last like season five or six of uh, Modern War of Modern Warfare. Matter of fact, since they I always tell this since they changed the Gulag, I have not played Warzone. So <laughs> I have not played Warzone since the old Gulag. That's how long it's been since I've jumped into it. So with season three starting as I record this tomorrow. I am uh, planning on jumping back into Warzone a little bit just to give it a try and see uh, how I enjoy it. I think maximally the way to best way to enjoy Warzone is to run with a regular group because it's a team-based game largely. I mean, solos obviously isn't, but I think the, the entertainment level of solos is a little bit more limited. That said, I haven't really had a crew to run around with in Warzone, which is why I haven't enjoyed it as much as maybe just jumping into random multiplayer where you can kind of solo things uh, by yourself. and. Uh, solo things by yourself. That is not at all redundant. <laughs> um, so here, I just I managed to get a wheel sent in hardcore using my pistol, and and so just kind of rolling in this extra footage here, so you guys can see um, a little bit of that. I'll go ahead and uh, jump forward real quick uh, to using the Psykov in the core game mode. Okay, so first I'm gonna jump in and show you. The initial build that I did uh, with the Psykov's Akimbo, just um, so you can see what that would be. Again, these have been balanced, so you don't necessarily need to do this. So the auto slide is what you unlock at level 40. Um, you don't need the trigger that increases your fire rate because you got a full auto slide. The 80 round drum mag, obviously. Uh, Akimbo is what was the beast here, but again, like I said, you probably won't ever use the pistols like this uh, going forward. Um, then beyond that, what you really wanna do is improve your hip fire so that the uh, five milliwatt laser is a good way to do that and then you can use the suppressor if you're like warzone you want to keep it kind of suppressed but because of the way they change the recoil you actually want to use something um, like the compensator or one of the grips that reduces uh, recoil because as you'll see i switch uh, mid-match here um, because the re the adjusted recoil with the uh, non-recoil assisted one it is, it is a bit it is a bit spammy for sure so this is the silenced version and you can see it just it operates much like a shotgun i mean if you want to use these things like this it can be kind of fun but you have to play it like a shotgun um they just they just aren't effective uh at the range they were before the the nerf so um i'm not sure with the time to kill because i'm not sure i don't think they adjusted the damage model um, so here, say I see it, I switch. I think I use a grip instead, so uh, for recoil control. But you could also switch the compensator out on the barrel. Um, yeah, these are probably because of the overall like damage hasn't been adjusted. If you use them at super close range, these might still have be fun to kind of mess around with. But if you're playing uh, Warzone with an eye towards winning, probably the Psychobs have been fixed now, so that they aren't these murder machines uh, as they were before, and uh, they are pretty much just. Just kind of a novelty weapon now, but but hey, if you want to, you want it. Like I said, if you're like me, you want to be a completionist, um, then there you go. So here, I'll give you one last kind of uh, streak. Um, the one last thing I will say about this is don't ever reload these things. Like I am a habitual reloader uh, with 80 rounds per magazine. You've got 160 rounds of murder here, and, and it takes quite a while to reload. And you will be surprised how long the ammo will last in these. So I would fire them until they run dry, and, and by then you'll probably uh, be on the verge of death anyway. Or you'll have slaughtered everyone around you, and you'll have plenty of time to reload. So in general, I wouldn't say don't bother reloading these things. Just let them fire until they're dry, um, and they can be a little bit fun to use. So. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that and, and found that helpful to help you unlock the Psycov, even though, like I said, it's maybe not as useful as it was a few days ago, go ahead and leave me a like. Uh, if you don't like late videos about overpowered weapons after they've been nerfed, <laughs> leave me a dislike. Subscribe to be a minion, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, minions.